So it's important to remove these shipping bolts uh, from your washer. Yeah, this is how they look like. Yeah. This is how they look like. and they are normally four in number. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to remove these shipping bolts from uh, your washing machine. And you see, if you do not remove these uh, shipping bolts, you can damage your machine. Yeah. So it's very important, and it's in fact it's a requirement. Of the manufacturer that you remove these shipping bolts before you begin using your new Samsung washer. Hello and welcome back to Ian's Gadget. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to remove shipping bolts from your brand new washing machine. Transit bolts that come with your new uh, washing machine are important as they keep the tub secure during a move and reduce the amount of vibration that could cause actual damage to the suspension. However, before you install your washing machine, you should make sure to remove all the shipping bolts. If you are wondering where to find them, these are found at the back of your washing machine. As you can see, they are four in number. I know the question at the back of your mind would be what happens if you do not remove these shipping bolts from your washing machine? Now, if you do not remove these transit bolts as instructed by the manufacturer, you risk damaging your new washing machine. Using your washer with the bolts intact can result in severe vibrations and noise which can permanently damage your washer. Most washing machines do come with a spanner to help you unfasten and remove the transit bolts. In my case, this is the kind of spanner that came with my washer. It is also helpful in case you need to adjust the stance to make your machine level so that it does not vibrate or make lots of noise. Armed with your spanner, now you just need to unfasten uh, these transit bolts one by one. After removing them, it's advisable to keep them safe for use when you move or transport the washing machine in the future. The washer also comes with caps uh, that you're supposed to use to cover those holes. So make sure to use those covers to cover those holes effectively. If you found this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get to know when I post more gadget videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.